The seventh word, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. From Luke chapter 23. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. From Matthew 27. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly this was the Son of God. This is the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Even in his dying breath, our Lord Jesus Christ is faithful. Physical and spiritual tormented had exacted all that was necessary for salvation. The Christ, true God and true man, now had one thing to go through, death. But in true Christ-like faithfulness, Jesus lays down his life by commending it to the Father. The Son, separated by the Father, by the sins that he took upon himself to bear for our salvation's sake, still commends himself to the Father. In the Father, he took refuge. Hung in shame by Jews and Romans upon the cursed tree of the cross, the Son of God commends himself to the Father to never be put to shame. He commends himself to the Father because he trusts in the deliverance of the Father. He pleads for God the Father to hear his prayer, trusts in him to deliver him and rescue him from the trap of the enemy, and gives us the example of what a faithful and blessed death looks like. It is not necessarily quick or painless, as Christ's own death took hours and was full of pain. It is not just being surrounded by your loved ones, for although Mary and John were there, so were the mockers and hate-filled crowd. It was a gruesome and bloody scene, not peaceful or serene. It had brought darkness upon the face of the earth. The light of the world was passing away, but Jesus was ever faithful through it. The 31st Psalm is the basis for this word that Jesus speaks. He is always speaking the word of God, not only because he is God, but because he has studied under the word and learned it. And here in his petition to the Father, he teaches us the right use of Scripture to be our confession, our prayers, to be the basis of our faith and our steadfast companion along the way of life and through the gateway of death. The psalm declares the victory of Christ for our sake. It speaks of the trust that Christ has for the Father, that though all looks like evil has won the day, our Heavenly Father will not let that appearance last. But instead the Father will vindicate the Son and raise him from the dead, a sure sign and proof of the completed work of the Son in earning our salvation. The psalm near its end says this of our Lord's trials. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was in a besieged city. I had said in my alarm, I am cut off from your sight, but you heard the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cried to you for help. The Father heard the Son. The resurrection we celebrate on the third day is proof. 
As we gather to hear the word, let us gather again on that great and glorious day to not only hear the word, but also to be partakers in the feast of the same Son's body and blood. The psalm ends with an admonition to us, and we should hear it this day. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Today we hear our Lord crucified. Sunday we hear our Lord raised. As we live out this day-to-day -day life waiting on his return, be strong and let your heart take courage. Christ Jesus has been heard by the Father. His work is complete. Your sins are forgiven. Your own death is defeated. Jesus has made sure. A blessed end awaits you. The Father hears your prayers as he heard the prayers of his only begotten Son. In the name of Jesus, amen.